to the NYIT College of Osteopathic Medicine. This is the Ryland Building. On the third floor, you'll find the Anatomy Lab. On the second floor is the Ryland Cafe, ICC, and Silent Study Room. On the first floor here is the Academic Healthcare Center. In the basement is the Auditorium. This is the Sorota Academic Center, where you interviewed. On the first floor, you'll find the OMM Lab. If you go downstairs, that's where the Molly and William auditoriums are, where the lectures are held, as well as some meetings. If you go down one more floor, you'll find the gym and the locker room. And if you go up to the second floor, that's where some conference rooms are, along with student affairs and financial aid. This is the Rockefeller Building. On the first floor is the Rockefeller Auditorium and the entrance to the library. If you go downstairs, that's where the DPR rooms are. On the second floor is the DPC suite, and throughout this building, you'll find offices as well as research labs. Ryland, Sorota Academic Center, Rockefeller Building. Have you checked the CBGs on Aquila for each of your classes today? Do you know if you're an LDB or DPC? Do you know if you're an OMM, ICC, or DPR today? Aquila is an online resource, a website where students can find course-related information, including video links, schedules, PowerPoint, and CPGs. CPG stands for Course Preparation Guide. We have two curriculums. LDB stands for Lecture Discussion Based. This is one of our lecture halls. Here we have our other curriculum, DPC, which stands for Doctor Patient Continuum. DPC is a problem based curriculum. DPR stands for Doctor Patient Relationship. This is where students learn clinical skills in a small group setting. These are the skills they will use as doctors out in the real world. OMM stands for Osteopathic Manipulative Medicine. This is the OMM lab. Here we practice our diagnostic skills and OMT, Osteopathic Manipulative Treatment. This is the ICC, the Institute for Clinical Competence. Inside the exam rooms, student physicians are filmed as they practice their skills during different clinical scenarios. After the clinical encounter, students must write a SOAP note, which stands for Subjective, Objective, Assessment, and Plan. There are also workshops for learning skills such as splinting, starting IVs, and intubating. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Click on these links for more information. As for me, I need to go study.